<laughs> Come on, up, 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 up. Slow, 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 slow. There's like one more. Two more. And one more. Not two more again. <laughs> no more again. Appreciate you having me. Oh, home. man, good deal. <sighs> yeah. Nothing. Easy. Get That'd be there. cool. Let's go. This is like the this is literally a dream come true. Yeah. Blessing, man. Awesome, man. Yeah, so uh, shoulders today, right? As you, as you said. Yeah. Uh, no, I had a killer leg day yesterday, so I'm honestly feeling pretty white between yesterday's leg day, traveling. This is my sixth day in a row training, yeah. so I'm going to start giving myself two rest days a week yeah. and backing off the cardio a little bit. I did 40 minutes of cardio this morning, too, of course. I just, I don't stop, bro. Yeah, you're like, a maniac. Yeah. Right after Olympia win, just can't stop. <laughs> Got straight off the Dallas so, training with Hani and all that. So. Yeah, so today, today won't be like a crazy, crazy training session, but definitely want to have a good shoulder pump by yeah. the end of it. So sure. I'll try to bring that energy. All right, bro. <laughs> just breathe? Yeah. The, um, Is it non-stim? Well, I have non-stim and I have the stim. So. Yeah, I have to take non-stim though, because this is stem already. Yeah, I usually do two scoops of the 3D, but today I'm going to need a little bit of a pick bro. So... Uh, these are the brand new flavors. Crazy pop, dude. Nasty. Tastes good too. That's that's a bonus. Because a lot of times you get a product that's like high quality product, but it tastes like crap. Yeah. But then sometimes you have a crap product that tastes great. This one at least covers covers everything. Yeah, I think that it's when they start loading products up with yep. ingredients. Sometimes the flavor can go off, but I'll give you the honors of the first scoops. And what's the flavor? Strawberry lemonade. Oh. Yeah, it's fire, bro. This is going to be my go-to now. <laughs> Didn't tell him about the AQ, though. Ooh. Yeah. Is that the glycerol? What? The what? glycerol? What's, the, what's the AQ? Is that what you asked? <laughs> Yeah, that's the liquid glycerol. It just, um, it's like this, will give you like the pump, the blood flow, and then the glycerol will actually hold the fullness in the muscle longer. Right. So it's like hyperhydration of the muscles. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. I don't know if you need it though. And get all the pump <laughs> I, I can get, man. It tastes good. Yeah, delicious. So how do we want to do this? Huh? How do we want to do Are this? Are you going to train me? Or am I going to train oh, you? Well, I'm definitely not going to train you, okay? <laughs> I'm definitely not going to do that. <laughs> All right. So we'll start off. We'll do some like, I always like to start off with like a, like a machine or like some sort of side lateral movement just to warm up the, the, the shoulders. Perfect. And then we'll move into more like the front delt and then we'll we'll finish off the rear delt. So make sure we hit every angle. Okay. I have one request. I'm supposed to have a shoulder press in my program. Okay. Would you be able to spot me for one heavy set of shoulder press? Just one. Just one set. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Bro, actually, pound for pound, you're a strong dude. I saw Thank your, you. Yeah, I saw the other day you were pressing like, uh, what, the 100 and, how much was it? 60 kilograms, so yeah, it's dude. like one, just over 130. And how much do you weigh? 160. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's nuts. Thank you. My How much first, weight have you gained in the last couple of months? Like 25 pounds, like 27 pounds, yeah. From from when? From, I guess it was May, beginning of May. Yeah. Wow. It's about seven months. Yeah, a good solid bulk. Yeah, for sure. You're not fat at all, dude. Thank you. No. Yeah, no, it's my first time like actually doing it because I was coming from such a lean spot. Like I was like, I don't know, sub 8% yeah. body fat for so long. You were long. shredded for a minute. So like coming out of it, it was pretty easy to just put on yeah. weight. It was Your so body was like ready to just grow. Yeah, yeah. So I'm happy I did that. I'm happy I got out of it, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like me going from like the 212 to the open, you know, my body was just ready to take off and grow. So it wasn't, you know, a hard transition as it would be if I was like, you know, not coming down and setting yeah. down to make that weight. So you were right at your cap for 212? Yeah, yeah. And yeah were you fighting that the whole time you were in the 212 division pretty much? Not in the beginning. You no, know, it took me a couple of years to, to max out that weight cap. But once I got with Hani, I mean, we were squeaking in just to barely to make that 212. Yeah. So, you know, I, I still felt like we could come back and maybe make improvements the next year, which is why I wanted to defend the title. But then my body just, like I said, wanted to grow. So it, it took off. And then I did the guest posing and everybody was like, what the heck? Yeah. Like, time to go open. So and then did. open, how much did you weigh on stage? 
this year I was about 20 pounds heavier, so like, little, like around 230-ish, a little. <laughs> that's wild. And how tall are you? Five six? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's wild. Two thirty <laughs> at five six. But I guess that's Mr. Yeah. Lumpia right there. Yeah, man. Yeah. So I got I, I got only like 70 pounds of lean tissue to gain, and then maybe maybe I'll be close. If you can believe this, bro, when I was a freshman in high school, I wrestled 112. Wild. 112 pounds. I actually graduated as a senior of high school, uh, wrestling 130. Holy. How, how did it compare the weight cut for like wrestling compared to like dieting down for a show? Dude, so much different, bro. Like I've said this before, I feel like if if wrestlers and fighters were to learn how to diet, learn more about nutrition and, and properly uh, cutting weight, I feel like it would truly help. Yeah, it would, it would help the sport excel so much. Because like when I was a wrestler, dude, like I'm over here, I didn't know what to eat. I just didn't eat anything. And I would just like be spitting in a cup and just, you know, dehydrating and just, you know, you're just doing everything really like the wrong way, Yeah. you know? And then you'd binge eat maybe after you'd weigh in and it just, so much different this is like a process where like you take weeks and months to like really dial in your physique and you know manipulating all these different variables whereas like i said like cutting weight for wrestling or whatever it just you just didn't eat and you sweat it out yeah you know? so i know for sure 100 yeah, percent. Yeah. i feel like people just underplay the importance of hydration and those sort of it things is. when it comes to performance so it's like to go into something that's so explosive so yeah. intense completely dehydrated one the injury risk is way higher for these athletes and that's why i see a lot of get yeah. injured at that level and then also and performance. performance is just down which is crazy but yeah i don't know it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see if there's a shift eventually in, in weight there, there always is because in every sport generation after generation every couple decades like it, the sport goes to another level, yeah. right? We can argue like who is better, Michael Jordan and Lebr LeBron James. Well, you really can't make that comparison because the game's different, right? That's why you can't make the comparison like today's bodybuilders versus like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like it's just a different, you know. Game. Yeah, it's just yeah. it's different, bro. Like so, like um, at that time, Arnold Schwarzenegger was the, the greatest bodybuilder walking the planet. Today, you know, we have we have. A different you? type of physiques. Yeah, so <laughs> there you there go. <laughs> I'm not trying to compare to Arnold, just say it, but but uh yeah man. Anyway, so the reason I was asking about the program is so how do you usually train like if you were to go come in today, like what would your programming look like as far as shoulders go? So I mean generally I'll start with my heaviest movement just when I have the most energy, but I know like yeah, I know sometimes like people like to get blood in their delts and stuff, so I assume that's what you like doing yeah, initially just to start. Um, so I'd start with my pressing movement and then I'd move to like a lateral delt movement okay. and then I'd go finish with like rear delts or front delts. How old are you again? 21 now. Yeah, dude, when I was 21, bro, like, I mean, I'm 30 now, but when I was 21, I came in just went straight to it, smashed the weight. Now I'm like, maybe I should warm up yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> I mean, when you're also enjoy. carrying so much muscle mass, <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think you got a little bit more to warm yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, all right, well, let's do this, bro. Let's do it. Fifteen, fifteen, twenty reps, one or two, and then after that, we're knocking down like 12, 15. Perfect. Okay. Okay. That feel good? Yeah. First exercise sets the tone for the rest of the workout. So once you uh, once you get locked in, laser focused. Are you a headphone guy or no headphone guy? Hey, it depends on the day. I'm here with you and I don't need headphones. We're good. We've got good energy, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's fine. That's actually okay. I wouldn't go that high. Right there. So you probably noticed on that how there's a difference between what he was doing and what Tristan was doing. He was wanting to really explode up as high as he possibly could. And when he did that, he would kind of shrug his traps a little bit. So what I was trying to do was stop him from going too high. And when he would hit that top portion, I would actually kind of push the pads down a little bit so that he could feel that resistance and he would stop. But also you notice as he went down, I was like tapping the, the shoulder. So that was like putting that mind to muscle connection into the delt rather than the trap. So after a few reps, he was like, only coming up to right here, which is perfect. Don't need to go any higher. And it was all right in the delt versus the trap. So I was trying to like tap him for his mind to go, okay, delt, not trap, delt. 
And then also, like I said, stop him at the top where if he went any higher, it would just be like a shrug. Fifteen, fifteen easy. I'm not trying to go like real crazy right now. Like I'm really trying to get it in my own head. Hey, stop a little shy. Yeah. Back it off just a little bit, cause I mean, I love to come in here and smash. Yeah, hey, you gotta tone it down. You're the guy that can't take rest days, right? Literally, bro. Like I hate rest days. I hate you know back. I'd say oh, eighty percent workouts. I'm like, no, we're gonna smash it every day. Yeah. So, but but I have to be smart. You know, I'm here to be the best. I can be, yeah. you know, coming off the Mr. Olympia win, I want to stay Mr. Olympia. So that means I have to continue to make improvements. And so if that means I need to back it off and do what I need to do today to be my best, instead of doing those extra few reps or sets or going crazy intensity, I just need to do, to do today what's going to help me to be my best for tomorrow. So I'm really trying to get it in my own head, like, hey, all right, just take it a little, little easier here. 15 reps, you don't have to go uh, in the same weight. We'll do like four four sets here, just a few sets here, and then we'll go on to your presses. Perfect. But I want to smash it, bro. Especially when you're filming too. I know, dude. You don't want to be caught like crazy. I mean, how long have we been trying to get together, you know? I know. So you're here, we're filming. I know. Good energy, bro, so. Dude, not so high, just a little shy of it. Right there. Yeah, a little, little lower, a little lower. Right there, perfect, perfect. That's solid, man, solid, right there, perfect. Perfect, let's go. Come on, champ, nice. Let's go, up, up, three more, two more. Focus, yeah, one more, one more, one more. Yeah! Good. It's a different type of energy when Mr. Olympia spotted it. It's a different type of energy. This is like, this is literally a dream come true, a yeah. blessing, man. Awesome, man. I've been uh, following your stuff for such a long time. And I was telling, before we even started the video, I was yeah. telling um, my camera yeah. that, uh, and I, I told her when we spoke last time, how open you are about your faith yeah. was like something that I truly admired. And, you know, if we're all in this building your body, which from the outside perspective, it seems so narcissistic, egotistical, just so self-centered, so self-focused. Yeah. But the way you've been able to use your platform and use your gift, your talent, to spread the word and spread the message, man. It's nothing like that. That's yeah. like more fulfilling than anything. And now you're becoming a father. Congratulations. Right. Thank you, bro. That must be extremely exciting, but it that's is. the greatest blessing above all. I mean, blessings on blessings right now. I mean, it's just really an unreal time in my life. So, but, uh, but yeah, dude, I mean, there was a time where it was all selfishness and all about me and ego and things like that. But I always knew like, deep down that God was calling me to this yeah. and it was for his greater purpose and not my own. And so, yeah, there's still a lot of selfishness that comes with bodybuilding because of how much discipline that it requires, all this sacrifice and not just sacrifice from you, but like your loved ones too. Yeah. Like my wife sacrifices with me. She's with me every single day supporting me. So, um, there's a lot of great things that come with bodybuilding, like you get a shape to sculpt your physique, which is awesome. You get to build a physique that you want to build. Um, you know, it's, get, it's provided, like Mr. Olympia, the IBB Pro League, has provided an amazing life for me and my family. So there's that too. But at the end of the day, the true purpose that comes behind the calling is to honor and glorify my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so that's why I just, I don't shut up about it, man. Yeah. That's what it is. Like, I'm like, every chance I get, I want to, you know, I want to make his story known. I want to talk about Jesus, man, like how he's changed my life and like why God is such a good God, man. And so I just hope that, like you said, with this platform that I have or even you have, like, I hope that we can impact as, like so many people around the world to come to Christ, man, and, and, and lean into God and stop trying to, you know, take control themselves. Like there's a time where I was like trying to do it all myself. And I, I just became depressed and miserable, dude. And finally, I was like, I literally got to the point where I was so depressed that I didn't even want to be here anymore. Like, I literally didn't want to be here at all. And I, I've i always been a God-fearing man. And like, at the time, my relationship with God wasn't as strong as it is today. But I finally just literally gave up. I threw in the towel and I said, God, that's it, man. I don't want to be here anymore. But if I'm going to be here, 
show me the way. He said, all right, son, I got you. He grabbed me and he pulled me along, pulled me back on that path and started opening doors I never imagined. And I mean, look at, look at us now. That was just literally three years ago, bro. Three years ago, I didn't want to be here anymore. And now it's like making history, Mr. Olympia, like giving all the glory to God. And I was talking to a friend this morning, like a good Christian friend that I've known for over 10 years. He actually trained with me my, for my first show. And that's what he was saying. He's like, man, 10 years of prayer and hard work and sacrifice and training all come into fruition like in this one moment a couple weekends ago and like for you to give all the glory to god like that was what it was all for yeah. he was like god was grooming you for this moment and now it's you're going to continue to carry that on so yeah, man. it's yeah. amazing but what's the saying god gives his toughest battles to the strongest warriors right dude so it's oftentimes when like people are at their lowest of the lows. And I know for myself, yeah. I've been through nothing compared to, I know there's so many people that have been through so yeah. much worse. Yeah. You notice it in your times when you're at your lowest point where you have nothing else, no one else has earned to. Yeah. And then when you have that feeling of someone's pulling you up, you know it could be nothing else other than God. You just want everybody else to experience that. So for my platform, Amen, it's bro. something that over the years, I spent so long to focus on myself, focus on like building my body, building my brand, searching after money, fame, uh, likes, comments, all this different yeah, stuff. Same. And until I just said, you know, I'm just giving it all to God and speak through me, through my platforms. That's, awesome. That's the only time that I got actual sense of fulfillment with awesome. the brand that I was building and the platform that I was building. So, man, I'm just so, I'm so that grateful. gives me a lot more respect for you. Thank too. you. Thank you. So, I mean, and you're 21 years old when a lot of people out there, 21, it, are, are chasing those things. Money, fame, girls, whatever it is, like the clout, like all that worldly disgusting stuff that makes you not happy at all dude it's such a temporary high and it's just, it's just gross man like if you're chasing that you're gonna be miserable but if you're chasing you know god if you're if you're running towards jesus man i mean he's that's that's the true happiness that is the end game there's nothing else. oh yeah and it's like i see it in you too man i like your your face glows up whenever i i say so i say jesus you're like same thing as me like we can sit here and talk about bodybuilding i would say all right bro my set next you know wait till next set you know but we're talking about god we're talking about jesus and i'm like that section wait yeah this is more important i know 100 yeah. percent. yeah but we still got to work out too, yeah so. of course so let's get this let's get a pop <laughs> yeah 15 eats two come on breathe come on two more two more two more two more two more last two come on again one more, uh, one more. Uh, yeah, uh, nice. Okay. Uh, Get it, come on. Uh, okay. Focus, nice, come on, come on, focus. Yeah, up, 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 again, 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 again. Come on, let's get focused. Yeah, want it, bro. Come on, want it. Come on, you love it. Let's go. One at a time. Come on, up, 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 up. Again, again, again. Come on, huge delts. Yeah, again, one more. Come on, up, 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 up. Slow, 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 slow. Nice. Derek's like, one more. Two more. One more. Not two more again. <laughs> one more turns into five more. I hit failure six times. <laughs> This one, you really want to make sure that you're focused on that muscle, getting really good mind-muscle connection. Less about the weight, more about the, the constant tension, that time under tension. Pulling this apart. Pulling it apart. Love it. This is literally probably like my favorite middle delt exercise. I just get really good mind muscle connection with it. I can get way better constant tension than doing dumbbell uh, lateral side lateral raises. I even like it better than the machine that we just did. This one here, by far my favorite middle delt exercise. Are you going to like a cross? Uh, cross them. Cross them? Yeah, cross them. What you're gonna do is you wanna like pull it apart. Like Your you're pulling knees those are just hands. on the end, right? Yep, keep that chest up. Pull it to the side. Perfect. Pull it way down in here, don't you? Yeah, perfect. So it's different. 
than the other exercise we just did. The other exercise you were hitting more up here. This one hits a little bit lower. So we're in that stretch position at the bottom. Me again. Nice. Good. Pull it apart, pull it apart. Yeah, that's crazy. The tension's insane on that. Yeah. Dude, look at that. <laughs> Bro, you, I'm, just wait, I'm just waiting for him to take no, this t-shirt off. I'm just saying, like, from a minute ago when you wasn't pumped to now. Stupid. What are your thoughts around, like, chasing the pump? Because that's a big, like, conversation, I guess, right? Like, whether or not you chase yeah. the pump versus just hitting numbers or, like, progressively overloading. Yeah. You think you should chase the pump? Dude, I'm a pump chaser, bro. I'm a pump chaser. Always chasing the pump, yeah, man. Yeah, I know. Yes. I, know. I, I always I get mean, better workouts that way. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't because... What you're trying to do is, yeah, you're trying to stimulate the muscle, but you want to cram as much blood into that muscle as possible. So if you're not getting a pump, that's a problem. Yeah. So yeah, you should be, unless you're like really dieting hard down and, and you know, you're depleted, then you're not able to get much of a pump, which is why it's even not to make any sort of a plug. It's why taking a product that's a pump product is so important all the way through to the end of your prep. Yeah. It's because you want to keep the muscles round and full as much as possible. And then when you're like dieting down, that food isn't helping you it's you're depleted so you need something to you know volumize that muscle yeah. right but you know we're we're now both in our off season right like you're not getting ready for a show i'm reverse dieting you know rebounding from a, a couple weeks ago so i'm feeling feeling out so it's a lot easier for me to get a pump yeah um but i think yeah you should always come in to get a pump dude yeah. no i agree I, I think here's the problem when you say chase the pump are you there to chase the pump I think most people think, let's just go lighter today. Yeah. Let's not push the intensity. Let's just kind of like do 15, 20 easy reps. And you get a pump and just flexing. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, so it's a so, balance, so it's I, one factor in it. Yeah. So I think you definitely need to bring the intensity. You definitely need to be pushing the weight, but the pump is crucial, man. Yeah. yeah. Sure. My yeah. answers are always long-winded. No, I'm good. You're so well-spoken. Just, I'm trying to articulate what I'm saying, yeah. and I feel like the first time I say it, I'm like, okay, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So let me make sure. So I say it like three times, and, and then I end up, work the magic I, I end up <laughs> rambling. I'm like, all right, Trev, just cut that down to like one thing. You know, I'm the same way, man. The amount of times I reach you stuff, I'm like, was that coherent? Was that clear? Yeah. Especially if I take pre workout, then I'm like, going fast. I'm like, shit, did I talk too fast? Did I breathe? Yeah. <laughs> bro, even a half a scoop today is yeah. plenty for me, bro. Like, know, man. It gets me wired. I can't yeah. do too much stems. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, that feels so good. That feels great. Perfect. Perfect. All the striations. It's crazy. Come on. Ah. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. One part. Ah. One part. Come on. Yeah. Go. Push. 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 Ah. All the way. All the way. All the way. I got you. I got you. Keep going. All the way up. I got you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Up. 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 Ah. Holy. That's so good, man. Or you're lit up. After shows, do you try to keep the tan? I do, actually. <laughs> well, it's been a couple weeks, so the, the tan, and like the spray tan's gone, but yeah. I still try to do a little bit of tanning. Yeah. Because I'm pasty white in the off season. It's not hard here. You got nice weather here. Hey, man. I love it here, dude. Maybe you should move, bro. Get some more training sessions. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Tampa, is that the move? Hey, especially when we play our gym. You're building a gym? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be building a gym over in Clearwater. This Hell season. yeah. So, Dude, that is sick. I know. We're going to have this gym. We're going to have that gym. Nice, man. And there's other good gyms here, too. So. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Last time. <laughs> Say 15 slow control and then five a little bit faster there at the end. 20 easy, as Ronnie Coleman would say. 20 easy, man. 20 easy. What was it like training with Ronnie? Oh, he's so cool, Bro, man. That's wild. That's, I, like, like, obviously he's, you know, arguably the greatest of all time, Mr. Yeah. Olympia. But like, he's just a cool guy. I know. He's, he's just, always so positive. It's yeah, great. Yeah. People tend to forget that like, 
we're just all people. People probably yeah. look at you like, oh, Tristan, like, hey, I follow you, man. You know, like, probably get it all the time. So, like, people tend to forget, like, oh, he's just, like, an, another dude. Like, so. That's why I love going to expos and stuff, because when you meet people in person, yeah. it's so different from social media. Right. Like, I don't, like, it seems like you put, like, on the social media, people put each other up on pedestals. But then you realize, like, everybody's just doing it. It's just another. So true. Yeah, no, it's the same. Yeah. That's why I love our sport so much more, because, like, you really do get connected with everybody yeah. if you go to these events, of course. And hard work doesn't discriminate. Like bodybuilding, no. bodybuilding, no matter what, just training at the end of the day. Hey, bro. What was it? What'd you say? 160 pounds is 160 pounds. Last set here. Last chance. So you said 15 and then what five. You Whatever you can get. I just did an extra five because it felt good. Extra credit? Extra credit, bro. Good. Squeeze. Try to squeeze as hard as you can through the full range of motion. Make make every rep harder than it needs to be. Yeah, like that. Now it's really working. Turn it purple over here. Look at this. See that? Let's go. Keep on. Nice, bro. Come on. Keep on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Three fast. Three a little faster. One, two, two more. Two more. Last two. Last two. Last two. Last two. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Up, 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 up. Okay. Uh, when you start getting that red uh, and like that, that bruising, like that blue, purpley, you know, tint, that's from all that crazy blood flow. It's a crazy pump. You were getting some over here a minute ago, right there. Yeah, nasty pump. I don't know though. Whenever you're in your off season, it's like, it doesn't feel as crazy. Well, you can see the striations. Wait till you watch this video back. Yeah, make me look good, Rich. Make me look good. <laughs> this exercise is so good. I love this one. This yeah. one. Now, I still think you need to do like dumbbell side laterals too, you know, and, and other side lateral movements. But as far as getting good mind muscle connection and really stimulating the muscle, this one's second to none, in my opinion. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of dumbbell presses. Uh, I'll do a couple light sets with you. That's fine. And then I'll move on and do I'll like a quickly Smith machine or something like that. Yeah, sure. So I'm, I'm just gonna do one top set. That's okay. it. Cool. For the green, that's it. I'm just, a, I'm just a social media bodybuilder, right? <laughs> For now. I can't wait to actually compete, man. Get out the down stage. Because as soon as I stop, I'm sure like when you wrestled, that competitiveness, that yeah. doesn't leave you. Well, you understand, right? Like they're five, 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 six, right? Your physique right now at what you said 160? I was right there. I was like 155, 160 there when I was 21. So your age? How old are you this now? This was like my physique. You're young, right? You're only like what 30? Yeah, 20? 30. Yeah. Oh my God. I dedicated like from that time to now, nine years, ten years of my life. I, as soon as I said I'm gonna be a bodybuilder, every day of my life was consumed by like this is how I'm gonna live my life. Are you all or nothing in pretty much everything you yes, do? Yes, yeah, absolutely. On the same way. Absolutely. Because I saw the little clip that you did uh, with Evagen yep. talking about like going off diet and stuff. Yeah. And when, you, when you have something, you'll go all in. I'm the same way. Like a lot of people are like, oh, well, do, like just have balance and stuff. I'm like, I don't live in balance, okay? I live in extreme. My <laughs> comment today to that post was still trying to find better self control. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because I'm all or nothing with every single thing I do. As soon as I set yeah. my mind on something, I go all in. Yeah. On it. It's not even a question. So who knows, bro? 212 Mr. Olympia, open Mr. Olympia, who knows? I'm just gonna keep just like lifting weights and taking my shirt off for Instagram and then we'll see where it goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool, let's do this. It's crazy, bro. I was just thinking like, I didn't even put two and two together. You're 21 and 160 pounds. That was me. Crazy. I didn't even think about that. That's insane. <laughs> well, don't put too high expectations. We'll see. We'll, hey, we'll zero, play it out. <laughs> zero expectations. You know what I noticed here? They don't have, they don't have normal dumbbells between. <laughs> 70 pounds, or 75 pounds, and 115 pounds. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the rolling back grips as well. They're really hard. For pressing, it feels a little bit sketchy. It is. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Those new shoes, they're so white. <laughs> oh yeah, actually uh, I did. I did get them from Impossible Kicks. Probably end up getting some new balances here in a few weeks actually, after I have this baby. <laughs> but no, like I tried the Yeezys. He, he, you know, he's like, here, just try them on. And uh, I loved them, so I got them. Right. But it looks sick. Yeah, thanks. Cargo shorts and and uh, New Balances. Yeah, dude, that's what I do. But they have to be like green grass stained. Out mowing your, your lawn. True, true, yeah. I, I'm putting in a, a special request to the IFBB Pro League that we start a new men's division this year, actually. 
And what's that? Well, Chris is having a baby. I'm having a baby. I think we need a dad bod division. <laughs> Just say it, bro. <laughs> Best dad bod. <laughs> yeah. I do want this to be my concept. Nothing. Easy. Easy, bro. Nothing. Yep. Good. One at a time. Good. Come on, focus. No. Nah, man, I went from wrestling to bodybuilding. Straight to it? Yeah, so it was more like, I would say, if anything, like CrossFit oh, okay. to bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was crazy intense, lots of volume, cardio, like, insane. Yeah, because then, I mean, that's and all your movements are very mobile. Yeah, it's, it's not hard for me to, like, train absolutely insane. Like, yeah. like, like, I'll be in here for three hours. It's harder to tailor back. Like, literally, like, he was, like, not insane, like, two and a half, three hour training sessions is very common for me. Now, I have to really reel it back in. Hani gets after me all the time. She's like, bro, I need you in there for an hour and a half, like max, like two hours if it's like a crazy leg day. But for me, I'm in here literally three hours. Bro, if I go to a new gym and they have different machines and stuff, I'm just like exploring around. Yeah. I'm like, I'll train everything today. Yeah. I don't care. And it's weird because like, I'll be honest, when I first get to the gym, I'm usually dragging a little bit, you know? And then, so it takes me a little bit to get into it. So after a few exercises, then I'm like fired up, ready yeah. to go. So I'll be five, six, seven, eight exercises deep and I'm like, what's next? Yeah. Literally. I know. Literally. I love it, Let's man. I love it. Come on, Derek. I like him. He reminds me of myself. Yeah. When I was his age, man. I mean, I'm not that much older, but everyone that's 21 is gonna be like, no, you're old, bro. You're 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I can just, I gotta feel it. I feel your energy, how much you love to be in the gym. Yeah. You just love to be here. Yeah. And you're you're so eager to learn and grow and get better. And I'm just grateful, honestly. Yeah, dude. That's the biggest thing I've learned over the years, because like I spent so long just so focused on next thing, next thing, next thing. But just to be in the moment and just yeah. enjoy it, I'm so grateful. So that's that's why I was saying like, I wasn't saying it to you, but I've said it before. Like it doesn't matter if you're an Olympian, you're an IABB pro, you've never done a show, whatever. If you're someone that's in here that just loves to be in the gym and train, train hard, you're pushing yourself. That gets me more fired up than anything. I don't no. care if you're a pro. If you're a pro and you're just you know, dragging around and you don't want to be here, I don't need that energy, bro. Yeah. I want I want to be around people that love this. Yeah, I know. Because I love it too, man. For sure. So just, I'd be doing this without the camera. Everything exactly. Off and I know. I've always said that I got into this just because I love training. Yeah. Like I'd be in the gym 4 a.m. by myself doing the exact same thing. Same, bro. Like yeah. this is like literally the one and only thing outside of my wife because we've been together for 13 years. It's the one and only thing that's remained like very consistent. Well, and my 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 faith in Christ. Of that's course. Just, faith in Christ, my wife bodybuilding that's the trio that's the trio bro up 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 nuts Ugh. get that rep oh, good bro oh, that's some pound for pound strength Thank you. real Take for the spot. work yeah Derek has the best spots he makes you work for the last rep which is what you actually want doesn't just like don't you hate it when people are just like okay here and they're like so bro like let me at least do something or then they're not spotting you enough you're like bro are you gonna spot me <laughs> you feel like you're gonna die just... yeah it's okay, okay, you can, you can spot a little bit, bro. Like, you can actually help me a little. Uh, old school Cybex Smith machine. I'm sure you're the same way, like, any chance that you get to be out there in the bodybuilding community at all these shows and expos and all this stuff, like, I love it, dude. Like, when I said I want to be a bodybuilder, it's like, this is what I always dreamed of. People are like, do you like to travel or would you rather just be at home? Well, it's nice to be at home. I love being at home. I love this gym. I love being at home with my wife. Yes, I'll have a baby, you know, next year. But, like, really, man, when I signed up and said I want to be a bodybuilder, it was like, this is what I always dreamed of doing, traveling the world, being at these events. You know, I used to I used to pay my own money just to go there, just to be like, you know, part of it, dude. But we do. Exactly, dude. But I just love being a part of it. It's such like it's so fun. Yeah. 
honestly like seeing meeting people in person i mean especially for you now like there's so many people that just look up to you that you inspire now even for myself like the first time i went to los angeles i just put myself in like public spots so that i could just go meet people and that's where like i got all my opportunities so for anybody who's like just wanting to get into the fitness space just go talk to people go to these expos go to these events you never know where it could spark to your lens like people see stuff in other people and it just provides opportunities you just never know you know yes sir <laughs> That was the smoothest 15 reps or whatever it was that I've ever seen. That was good. One at a time. Nice. Nice. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Come on. Strong. Nice. That was great. Saved my life. Nah, that was great. That's why we're over here doing this. We got the safety bars on it. Yeah. You don't have to worry. Even the mental of not yeah. having to think about it, <laughs> yeah. that helps you just push past right. a certain point. <laughs> Good. I'll do one more set, and then we can uh, do like a couple front raises. Yeah, that's okay. Front raises, and then we'll do some rear delts and call it a day. Solid. Yeah, I pushed it back on purpose. Yeah, no. Let's go, champ. I want to do two in the Okay. Let's go. Come. 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 Push. 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 Two sets, thumbs like palms facing in, thumbs up, and then two sets, palms facing down. Perfect. Easy for you, bro. I don't know about that. Nice. There you go. It's a great day to get better. Let's go. Come on, one at a time. Even it out. Even it out. Nice. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Good. See, it's good. Ooh. Easy for you. Easy is probably not the word I'd use to describe it. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, bro, is like, you're controlling every rep, the full range of motion, and I can tell that you're squeezing as hard as you can, making the exercise harder than it needs to be. Right. So not only are you moving the weight, but you're getting the most out of every every little inch of the rep. Yeah. So it's good. It's perfect. Thank you. Come on, air push. I don't know about you guys, but especially when you do it standing, but even doing it seated here, when you bring your feet in closer like this, it takes like your the, the base, the foundation out from under you. Yeah. So you're actually having to stabilize with your core. So I'm actually getting like an abdominal work right now work from up. this, yeah. from keeping my knees and my feet in like this. Because if I'm out here like this, I have a strong base, my hips are real strong. So you can use your, your legs more. Whereas you bring your feet in like this, again, especially when you're standing and not seated, that core is just like on fire right now. Crystal, Tristan, next one. <laughs> and yours? My name is Sam. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you too, bro. Everybody in here just makes you feel like you don't even lift. <laughs> so he and I go all the way back like 11 years ago, yeah. maybe 12. 
We went to college together. Oh, really? We met at this junior college and he, we had class together. He sat right in front of me. And uh, I just remember looking at him and I was like, how do you get arms like that? Cause I, dude, I was like a smaller guy, you know? Yeah. I was just like, I just got done wrestling 141. I was a 141 pound wrestler. And my coach in college was like, you're a small 141 pound. You need to be 133 and cut the weight or you need to get bigger yeah. to grow into the 141 pound class. So if that tells you anything, and I'm looking at him and I'm like, dude, his arms are crazy. <laughs> like, how do I look like that? Yeah. And then fast forward to today, he turns pro in, in classic physique. You know, now I'm Mr. Olympia. We both moved down here to Florida together, been friends for over a decade. Cool, man. He actually is a massage therapist too. So he'll come over to my house and massage me and stuff before the Olympia. And yeah. He's been a really good friend of mine for a long time. That's awesome, man. Three, good, nice. Perfect. Come on, again. Up, 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 up. All the way, all the way, whatever it takes. Good, that's it. How long do you usually train for? Hour and a half. Hour and a half. And some, like, some days I like to just take my time, go a little bit longer, like a few hours. Yeah. And other days I'm like, let me get in there in an hour, finish it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, generally around an hour and a half. You usually probably move a little faster than this, of course. I mean, just when I'm training by myself, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What about you? Yeah, usually, like, <laughs> we're getting ready for the Olympia. We don't talk. Like, yeah. there's no talking that comes out of my mouth, hardly. Yeah. If if you do hear me talk, you've probably seen it in the camera. I probably said, like, two things to the camera. Yeah. And it was probably towards the end of the workout. <laughs> yeah. But, no, I'm, like, I'm getting after it. I mean, very short rest periods, intense, trying to go as heavy as I can, as many reps as I can just absolutely smashing it every day. Yeah. I'll go, I'll finish a workout. I'm going to editing the video. And I'll be like, I said a few words this whole video. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Well, you, when you're in it, you're in it, you know? That's right. It's good to remember to have fun though, you know, like, like this is the time out of the year where it's like, like I said, like I need to rein it back in a little bit. I can't be just coming in and throwing myself in and stuff so like now is the time to to just enjoy yeah. the training sure. and like you were, we were talking earlier like chase the pump and yeah. you know just have fun and just be here and have a good time right and just if if you come in here let's put it this way if i come in here to the gym i'm gonna have a good workout like i'm gonna get something out of it right so i feel like you know now is the time to, to focus on on the mental aspect of the game yes sir palms facing down Oh, come on. Actually, I think that's good for me here on, on front delts. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't expect to do 15. Yeah. I figured I'd do like 12, 10. So three sets of 15 is good for me. Uh, and then we'll just do some, some redelts. Perfect. All right, last set here, last chance. Last opportunity. Nice. Nice, come on. Let's go. Good, done. Oh, that's a pump. Smashing it, bro. Thank you. Smashing it. Can't not. <laughs> I know. One on the first one, I mean, 15 is good, but. So high. Uh, yeah, just, you know, 15 easy, but I wanted to get a couple extra, so it's feeling good, you know? Sure. You don't have to go back that far. Just try to push those elbows and fists away, like, towards me. Yeah, right there. Right there, perfect. Good. Come on, bro. Not much left today. <sighs> nice. <laughs> Felt a lot better when you. Did that right? Yeah. That cue of just like pushing away. Yeah. Happy goes down. Yeah. <laughs> the energy's starting to do this for all of us. 
You have a reason good. though, you're post Olympia. I don't know what I'm doing. I know we're in positive spirits, but yeah. the energy's going. I think today is uh, about to be wrapped up. Yeah. Taylor off the workout. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually a really short range of motion, your rear delts are. So when you come back that far, it's just going to be your traps. Kind of like doing the side laterals, when you come up real high like this, it ends up just being your trap. So your delt muscles really don't move that far. So the range of motion is just not a huge range of motion. So it's just that here is about all you need. I mean, away rather than back, right? Yeah, I mean, definitely get a good stretch. Here. Yeah. But it's, this is about as far as you need to go. Yeah. Anything further back is just going to be your traps. Good. All that solid, solid. And of course you're going to move here too, right? Like I'm showing the camera, but you're going to move the, the rhomboids, the traps, this whole scapula is going to move. Sure. Yeah. But ultimately he's putting it all right here. Yeah. There might even be a little bit of tricep activation yeah. too, but that rear delt is solid. Come on, last set. Come on. Okay. Oh, great. Solid. Last set here, bro. This is it. Last chance. Last chance given. Yeah. Nice. nice. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Done. That's it, bro. Thank you. Be, uh, no, thank you, man. I mean, I asked you if you'd stay a couple extra days, and you did, man. Like, you were supposed to leave a couple days ago. Yeah. So appreciate you sticking around. And it was fun, man. Been passed up on the opportunity. Yeah. Right post Olympia win. It's insane. Just, just, just the first time, bro. We'll do it again, I'm sure. Yeah. Excited for the next year and the next year and the next year and the next year. You to get on stage, bro. You think you'll do it this year? Or? This coming year, yeah. 2024. Yeah. yeah. Excited to follow your journey, bro. Yeah. You got me hyped up today, man. It was a, it's a great workout. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you. Yeah, man. So, we have a party to get to today. Yeah. You guys coming? Yeah, for sure. 100%. Awesome. Appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, it's been. fun. It's fun. Hey, appreciate you too, brother. Oh, Pointing <laughs> to the people. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm just dead tired. That's right. <laughs> like, my energy is just like. Your delts are tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, I got the shoulder workout. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Training with Tristan Lee today. Make sure if you guys aren't following him on Instagram or YouTube, subscribe to his YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram. And of course, if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel or follow me on Instagram, please hit that subscribe button. Comment below if you like this video. Try this workout with a friend. And until next time, guys. Hey, appreciate you having me, man. Oh, man, good deal. Good to see you, bro. Thanks for coming out. Good to see you. You haven't missed any workouts, have you? No, no way. This is Big Jake. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. Good, good deal. Yeah. I saw you at the gym one day. You're in my 40 doing a, an arm workout. Yeah, day. yeah, trying to get a little commercial yeah. going there, you know. Yeah. No pose down tonight. No, no, I think <laughs> I think you take that hands down. What are you guys going to have in Clearwater? We need a good gym here. Uh, it's not going to be like in Clearwater Beach. It's going to be um, kind of like more on McMullen, I would say. Either okay. McMullen or uh, 19. Oh, there you well, go. Hey. No, when we put it together, man, we'll have to, we'll have to get That'd something. Be cool. That'd be cool. What's cool is that like, now you're using that platform. And that's, that's, a, yeah. that's how well, I feel about I like, with me and yeah. my career will be yeah. Mr. Olympia. Is that, yeah, like I love it. I'm passionate about bodybuilding. And it's great to be Mr. Olympia. But... I have to have a purpose that's greater than myself, and that's, you know, God called me to do this. And all he's asking me to do is be obedient and spread the word, man. So that's why I messaged Nick, and I was like, so much respect I have for you and Mel 
and you know, it's just it's just great to see other Christians like out there speaking. Brother, we, we had a chance to stress the real day. Jake and I did. I said, I can't wait to go there. My dad paid for it. I can't wait to go there and just yeah, 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 yeah. Then I'm ready to ramp up and take on the, all the crap again for next week. I've been so much since the Olympia thing before I was training for the Olympia. I told my wife, I said, all I want to do is just go to church tomorrow and have a day to ourselves. Yeah, That's it. I just want to go to church. One thing, once you plug oh, into that campus, you, you know, know and you oh, kind of look yeah, back on what you're doing and who you're around or how it works before you go, bad, bad. None of that meant anything. You know, once yeah. you find that perfect truth, brother, it changes that's everything. The, yeah. You know, I look at that's a, things completely that's differently. You know, I had to raise them. Learn to respect your elders. I had to learn to respect your elders. Yeah. 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 It would have been real. Yeah. Bro, because see, this yeah. was... Uh, yeah. So I stayed still. I stayed centered. See, obviously, stayed peaceful. Yeah. It's, just, it's like I was telling no, I just told my big God about my little problems, you know? Yeah. So yeah. it's pretty funny yeah. when you find that truth, man. Yeah. Anything bigger Anything bigger than you. Yeah, and I also found found out the person you're running with, if you're in love with it doesn't yeah, matter, they're not on the same page for that, it's not yeah. going to work. Hey, that's why I'm grateful for this dude right here, I was man. really about to say that yeah. a couple weeks out from the Olympia, yeah. I told him, I said, hey, we're about in the gym. I said, hey, bro, I'm going to be real with you. I'm struggling right now. This is hard. It's getting really hard. Yeah. I said, come over here. He started praying with me. He said, I just want you to remember something. You are who God says you are. Yeah. And I was like, ah. Yeah. So that stuck with me right. the last few weeks. I was like, God, I am who you say I am. Yeah. You say I'm Mr. Olympia, I'm Mr. Olympia. You say I'm not, I'm not. Either way, I'm yours. Yeah. That's what Moses, God thought the Moses was burning. He said, I am. Wow, I didn't even know you had that. I am that, I am, brother. Oh, dang. Yeah. Look at that, brother. Yeah, so it's, I, 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 I hit it on a long time ago. It, it took me about 15 years to get completely correct because I was still hanging on to the right. career and the idol worship. What's well, going on? Like, the ego, right? man. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. So I got I go, I was in a position like you were in. I was at the top of my field. Yeah. And I was so obsessed with the scratching, oh, the yeah, fighting, the state. I had a target on my back. Everybody was coming for me. You're the goat. That's what happened. Yeah, and you know, I, I didn't <laughs> stay in the group. Like, I've been with like South African wrestle the heavyweight champion. Right. There I go to Brazil. guys, and everybody starts breaking on it. They make sure. They make So I was like, so, I so focused on surviving. I totally missed the black picture. You know? yeah. And so once I get grounded, I bracketed everything, put it on the wall, and went back to center. I realized why I was really here. But it took a while for me. I was stubborn. You know? It took a while. His time is always perfect. So. Um, I was just talking about your, that's part of your story. Yeah, I was talking to someone about Mel. It's like you could look at his story and be like, "Wow, like that's pretty crazy." The all the stuff that you know you did and you you went through. But I think I think God allows us to go through that path a lot just so He can turn around and use us. Like you need to go through that stuff. Go through the suffering. It's nice to talk bodybuilding. It's yeah. nice to talk wrestling, but I get really passionate know. talking about that. I'll sit here and talk to you all day about that. Yeah, Some like people come up in the line and they'll be like, bodybuilding this, bodybuilding that. Great, thank you, Leah. We'll have that conversation. Yeah. We'll start talking about God. And I'm going to sit here and talk to you all day about it. Well, I've been around this weightlifting, bodybuilding stuff about 50 years. You look really clear. You look clean, bro, because I've been around them all. Your energy's real clean. Thank you, man. Yeah. It's, it's him, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. It's him, but like you said, your circle, too. Yeah. The people you got around right. you. We're, we're on the same team. You know, yeah. we just got to get more people on our team. Well, you know? if people are on your team, they'll get rid of them for you. They'll, right. they'll, right. they'll well, take people out of your life that aren't supposed to be there. I can yeah. tell you that yeah. for real. Yeah. How you doing, brother? How you doing? Spencer, oh, sorry. Good to meet you. Spencer, good to good see you, man. Good to meet you. Yeah, and even like. I figured he's just a movie star hanging out. Yeah, I wish. Guy, I wish. Thank you, Holster. I appreciate man, that. Man. He'd go over there. He's too good looking to hang out. Yeah, man, look at this guy. Wow, well, but look at you, man. You need an agent. I'll be your agent. We'll get rid of Brad Pitt. We'll get him going. That's cool. No, but yeah, it was crazy. It was like. You know, this when we share our testimonies, it kind of strengthens, you know, brothers, brothers in Christ, you know. And, well, 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 it's crazy. And this, this isn't about me, this is about him. But, you know, I was praying hard as a state trooper for 10 years. You know, I kept feeling it pulled me down here, had a mentor down here, different things. And, you know, and I just, I kept praying, you know. Yeah. You know, line some stuff up if you if you want me to go there and then just sign it for sign it for sign it for oh, sign. Yeah. 
I come down to visit, and y'all were the first two people I meet. You know, <laughs> met him at the gym, and I had this like Holy Spirit connection. He had, it, had his necklace yeah. on, and he was just man. I could just feel it, just oh, like yeah. you said. So. And we've been boys ever since. And then the next night, I came here. You told me to come here. God gave me a vision that I was supposed to get down here to help well, him out. You helped me a lot, this prep. Okay. Hey, listen, but it was so good to to see the vision yeah. come to oh, that's awesome. fruition. Yeah. You know that, that that God's still working. He's got crazy stories yeah. running through everybody. I'll tell you this you know? too. I, I always yeah, try to check. It's crazy myself. how it works. I always oh, yeah. try to check myself too, and I. The very next morning, I was laying there in bed with my wife. It's hard to sleep. You can imagine all the adrenaline and stuff, excitement. And uh, I woke up and I was, I was laying there and I was thinking to myself, "All right, so now what is this? Like, what, what is this going to make of me? Like, how's this going to change me here? Like, how am I going to view myself? Because I don't want to get ahead of myself, you know. So I, so I laid there in bed. I said, like, "That's it." I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm all yours. So I started pointing to the ceiling. God, I'm all yours. I'm all yours. Because I don't ever want to get ahead of myself with that. Yeah. I'm taking the reins. I'm, I'm doing this for me anymore. So I just kept saying, God, I'm all yours. I said, just show me where you're, like, calling me to go. Like, tell me where you're calling me to go. Make it very clear to me. And in that moment, he said, I'm calling you to higher heights beyond what I just did. Like, like meaning, like, the competition and all this stuff. I'm calling you to higher heights. And I thought to myself, man, like, what does that mean? And to me, it means like, well, yeah, there was a struggle and a grind that you went through uh, to get here. I'm going to I'm gonna hand you more workload. It's going to be a harder challenge, a harder struggle, harder grind. But I know you can handle it. And I'm also going to bless you more because you're going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you more. I'm gonna give you more because you can handle it. So I was like, God, why me? Why me? And that's what he said. He goes, because you can handle it. And I just, I don't know, man. I just feel like. Um, hey, you gotta be a soldier. You gotta yeah. be a soldier for him. That him. gave me goosebumps. I'm sorry. It's, it's I was just looking at it. Well, because I just, I like, I wanna make sure, like, yeah, like, it's great because you're being praised. Like, oh, you're Mr. Olympia, first champ, champ, two division champion. You, you made history. That's great. Like, that's amazing. But, like, I'm just like, God, I wanna make sure, like, I'm all yours. I'm yours. Oh, you're you're in that position yeah. for a reason, brother. Yeah. 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 This was this was no accident. Yeah. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. And you do it as well, bro. You really are. Well, yeah. like, I think you really. Day day. Thank you, man. I think you really got to check yourself, though. You know. One hundred percent. Because it's yeah. easy to, you know, get pulled by the world. You know? Yeah, it is, man. It's, it's something. It's amazing. Yeah. Hey. I keep telling him these pictures would be great if he wasn't in them. <laughs> keep asking. They keep asking. Okay? Yo, we're here from man Derek. He's a great guy, let me tell you. I'm going to say some kind words about Derek because I don't think anyone has done it. So when I came to Tampa for the Tampa Pro, Derek gave me some serious advice. And I'm a jokester, but I'm going to be real here. He said, no matter what happens, it's going to be as God means it to happen. And he said some words that really stuck with me. He said, when you're about to get on stage, just give up to God. I literally, when I was about to get on stage for Tampa Pro before I won, I said, God, use me however way you want, whether you're, I win or lose, I know you're going to use me for something bigger. And those are some words that stuck with me. And that's why I think Derek is a different guy. He always helps people out. And God bless Derek. We're all here for him, celebrating him. Amen. Ooh. Mr. Olympia, the champ.